bike week here in uh, Florida. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go check it out. We're almost there, about 45 minutes away. Uh, we'll check back in when we get closer. Whew, man, that was rough. That was really windy. <laughs> but uh, lots of really cool motorcycles on the road. I saw a Victory Vision, which was really cool. If you don't know what a Victory Vision is, it's like another like American cruiser that sort of like tried to like innovate the cruiser market. Got rid of the wind, but now we got a whole bunch of traffic. <laughs> the coast of Florida which is here then you have this water which goes pretty much along the side of the coast this is what we call the intercoastal it's kind of separated by the island out ahead of us where all those hotels are and then after that island you have the beaches and then you have the ocean it's really fun to come out here and go island hopping There's a lot of little sandbars and uh, like little islands and stuff. So you take your boat out to the intercoastal and do a lot of island hopping. It's really cool. There's just one boat out there somewhere. It's an ice cream boat. <laughs> how expensive these houses are I don't even I don't even want to know <laughs> Oh my gosh! I just needed to stretch a bit, dude. Ugh. Got some bikes. There's gotta be bikes everywhere right now. Let's go. So this is apparently a little kayak launch. I didn't even know this existed. We might have to look into this one day because I, I love kayaking. Doesn't look too exciting, but dude, look at that! It's like look at the feet marks there. What what was that? Probably some kind of bird. <laughs> Pretty cool little spot. Got some bikes. Ugh, my dude, this is <laughs> nice. After getting beat up by the wind, this is a really nice just walk around. It's so nice. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice day. It's like so cool. Well, I know this direction is a lighthouse. I don't remember how far away it is. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll go check that out. And then we'll take A1A back up and kind of see if there's any kind of bike life going on on A1A. That's probably going to be where it all, it's all happening right now. So, <laughs> Oh yeah, the scooter. There we go. Hell yeah. I didn't even get away from the scooter. They all hate me. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> oh well. A buffalo. Those are some snowbirds right there. Buffalo Bills, what the f I was in second gear. Whoops. But, um, where's the lighthouse? I read the sign, it said this way's lighthouse. Imagine living where the lighthouse is. That is sick, dude. That'd be like that home right there with a preview of the lighthouse. 
Ooh. That'd be nice. I forgot the mask and um, these are some nice bikes. Yeah, I didn't bring a mask and it's like an uh, establishment, you know, you have to pay to get in and everything, so they're probably gonna require one. It's pretty cool. Bike Week kind of started uh, in the 30s, I think it technically started in like the late 30s or and um, early 40s, and then it kind of became like this, this racing event where they would do this uh, oval track uh, on the beach itself. So they built a big sand track with two large banks. This is an oval, and they would do I think I would think it was called the Daytona 200 or something. I don't remember. Uh, and Harley Davidson kind of quickly became like the the crowd favorite. And they, they had like a, their own race team and everything. Um, they've even had events where part of the track, like one half of the track was on the beach and the other half was on on um, like pavement. So it's kind of like, you know, supermoto. Uh, they had it every year. They would host it every year, same time. Uh, and it, was, it grew really, really popular. And Harley got really, really well known because of it. Uh, and then after, oh well, um, before, right when the first world war started, that was when we kind of stopped because the uh, owners of the association that that uh, did Bike Week, they decided to uh, basically shut down um, and conserve resources like fuel and stuff for uh, the war effort. So, um, you know, the, the official Bike Week kind of stopped, like the races and stuff. Then the um, people kept coming. They kept coming every year, just kind of hanging out. Uh, it was like a big event that people just come and just do group rides and stuff like that. Uh, so people just kept on coming. Uh, but then uh, during like the 70s and 80s, when the, the kind of the rise of the violent gangs and stuff like that, uh, you know, it became kind of a, almost like the, the especially the locals. They kind of um, every year around this time they had to like brace for impact because it was just like these bike gangs would come in and wreak havoc. Then it became like you know you had turf wars. And like you know these bike kings would fight over bike week like you know like they would come here and try to like assert dominance because if you could take bike week you were like the number one bike gang in the world you know and um they got really out of hand and then eventually this the law enforcement stepped in and they tried to stop the events but it wasn't going to happen because people that you know people just kept coming uh, bike week is really really popular and people from all over the the world came here to to enjoy their bikes during bike week so hey sometime around i think it was in the 80s still um the uh daytona decided okay well we can't we can't beat them we can't get rid of it let's just uh let's just regulate it let's just make it an official thing and we'll regulate it and make sure everybody's being safe and, uh, and respectful uh and that's kind of how it's been ever since so now it's like a regular thing people come out here every year somewhat regulated <laughs> it's still just kind of like come out everybody knows there's gonna be a whole bunch of bikes here and just enjoy enjoy re-riding your bike all over daytona that's kind of the thing i think i know there's a little festival sort of sporadic and there's actually an official website and they have events but i don't really do all that <laughs> that's a cool house it's, it's friendly it's inviting look at those little blue dolphins there's lots of subarus out here it's just cool it's from new york Oh, did you see that, like, uh, the, that bug, the bug buggy, the VW buggy? That thing is awesome. Thank you. That was a nice bug. 
bikes. Am I falling? Am I leading this? I'm not supposed to be leading this. <laughs> filming this whole time are you kidding me well in case I wasn't filming I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video we got to see some cool uh, cool uh, sights at the got to see what it's like at Ponce Inlet during bike week uh, it's pretty fun we got to do a little cruise down A1A uh, had a lot of fun filming this video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, but yeah like always it'd be really dope if you like the video it'd be awesome if you subscribe but until next time I'll catch you in the next one peace yeah, yeah.